Hey everyone, it's Apache here and welcome back to another episode of Slay the Spire. This is level 3 on our strength based ironclad mission. We're going to take the centre path up here and hopefully we'll be able to get to an elite fight, um, some relics, campfire and a shop fairly close to the end is what I want. So we'll have a decent amount of money to uh, get as much as we can in preparation for the boss. We're going to take the middle run lifelink on these, we need to kill them all within two turns of each other, essentially. So deal 9 damage to each of them, we've got 16 damage coming in. Um, so I think first of all we want to do feel no pain and then we will exhaust this, get 4 block. So we've got 12 damage coming in. I think um, shrug it off just in case we get a good card. And then Iron Wave on you because you're the highest. All fairly equal. We're not going to take any damage. Good first round. So now you're going to attack and these two are going to defend. Oh no. Okay. So we want to try and nuke this guy and then that guy. Well no, then this one and then that one really. Now can we get the plus 3 permanent? So it's 13 is what we're looking to get. So we want to do 26 damage to this thing. So I think we want to do a cleave. I'm not going to be able to do the bash, so the feed. So shrug it off, gain one card. Intimidate is huge. And I might actually use this to gain more block. That's 12 and 12. If I do 13 damage to this, I'm going to gain more block. Yeah, that is the right play here. It keeps them all about even and means that I've only got 8 damage coming in. Clash will kill one of them. So I think we do the Clash now. And we do it on well, any of them really. Might want to do it on this one actually. I still think we can actually kill this one with a pommel strike. If I do an offering, I might actually be able to kill two of them. We do a headbutt on. Gain back the clash. And then if we do strike on you, strike on you. I'm only going to take four. This means I wouldn't take any. Uh, yeah. I'd prefer not to take any damage. See, he may end up coming back. You I can kill with anything. Um, you're going to do 
I need to do 42, so seeing red straight away. Which means I can just nuke you down straight. And then, what should I kill you with? Highest one, why not? Not too bad. Rupture plus, whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength, but it's at zero. Rupture plus, very nice. So we will head on. So first round, we want to use Rupture Plus straight away. We want to do Bash. Now I can't use Perfected Strike. That was annoying. I'm going to do Dramatic Entrance and Strike. Nothing we can really do about the 10 damage incoming. And two bone cards. Might be able to use feed here. Doesn't look like it though. That'll be 25 damage. We'd need to do another uh, 25, 33, which we can't do. So let's do Pommel Strike first, and then shrug it off, we only only be taking 10 damage. And let's rupture so that when we get the um, over manoeuvre, or out manoeuvre, then we'll gain 2 strength for that. Unfortunately, it's not whenever you're hit. That would have been nice. We can feel no pain. We can flex. I think thunderclap and then this will kill him. 90 out of 100 and we've only taken 13 damage so far, which isn't too bad. Another flex would be nice. But again, we are woefully short on block. 9 block is quite a lot. I think I'm going to have to go for some block in this deck. Can't look forward to go for nothing. So here, how are we doing? Not too bad. This will take us up. We'll see after this combat whether we want to go for... Actually, no, we can go for that one, then that one, then that one. Yeah, so after this, uh, mystery is where we want. Relic, letter opener. Every time you play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. That is... That means I could turtle up completely. Nice. And a battle. 300 hit points. Have I just gone to... This is just a regular enemy. 300 hit points for a regular enemy. Wow. Go for Infernal Blade first of all. Reaper. Seems okay. That exhausts. I might want to wait until I've got the exhaust bonus, because all of these are exhaust. So I'll do the dramatic entrance anyway. So at least we're doing some damage. And I'll use a block just because I can. I don't think it's worth actually using the feed. Have we fought this guy before? I can't remember any of his abilities, if we have. Weakened and frail, pretty much what you'd expect. 
This is one, feel no pain. So he's doing five damage. So I'll do six block. And now I'll do that one. Out of vulnerable to him. Which I shouldn't really have done. I should have done a headbutt there. That is slightly annoying. I should have done a headbutt. Double your strength. So let's do an offering. Let's do a pommel strike. doing 18. Oh, that pommel strike. I should have saved that, shouldn't I? Because that was doing double damage. The pen nib. So if I do... No, if I do a limit break now... And then go for a bash... and a boomerang that was a decent amount of damage in one turn so it's now doing 28 damage eat a lot of damage here but I think 36 strength I need to do this this round I've actually got the synergy working in this battle so I may as well use it so we have a clash he is going to upgrade his strength again I think So unfortunately, this is a bit of a weak turn. Hmm. Not the greatest turn, to be honest. Now he's going to hit me even harder. 31. So I think we want to dual wield the sword boomerang. No, we don't, we actually, because we want to gain nine block here. And I think we actually want to exhaust, just exhaust a regular strike, if that's okay. Because then we want to rupture and sword boomerang. 13 isn't bad, to be honest. But we're definitely not going to be able to go for the elite boss. Deal 18 damage and draw two cards. 11 times 4. Wow, that's a lot of damage. I'm going to drink that. Seventeen and draw a card. 
and shrug it off. I'm going to need to poison you as well. And we have non-attack cards in the hand. I'm not going to enjoy this. Cool, 12 hit points left. It's not going to attack. Reaper. So let's play that. We gain 4 block. Then we do a thunderclap. Right, we're on nine. Ooh, yes. Okay, so 20 damage, 30 damage to all enemies, heal for unblocked damage dealt. So that's healed me up by 30. That's really nice. And then we can do a strike and a strike, and it's dead. So yes, I did waste a another regen. I'm not too good with regen so far. Draw three cards. You can't ad draw additional cards. Deal three damage to a random enemy three times and start the turn. Lose hit points and draw a card. So no, I don't want any of those in my deck. And it's always the same when you have a look at them. In battle chance is a zero. But no, I don't want that. Skip. Don't forget your rewards. Just click on them to pick them up. Yeah, I want to skip the card. So we're going to have to go for this one first. Highly ornamented tomb. Oh, 239 gold for a relic. Um, no. I'm just going to say no to that. 52 health for an elite. I don't think we're going to go for that. We're going to go straight for a rest. Really haven't been able to upgrade that many cards in this run which is a shame thorns and explosive we want to try and kill the thorns as quickly as we can um, we don't have the um, one for, for exhausting which is a shame because we have a lot of exhausts so I think first of all you go for offering And then I think you go for Pommel Strike on the guy here. Lowest health, most chance of dying and is doing the most damage. You can go for an Infernal Blade which gives us a Pommel which is 5 times 4 damage and then Exhaust. Now if we go for the Limit Break that doubles our strength because we've got nothing that can do strength from now on. So now we have three to play with. I think doing 12 to all. Ah, that's a shame we can't get it up slightly more. Should we see if we can get it up with a flex? I'm going to need some anyway. Seeing red gives me two more means I can play everything. So defend, defend. Now we can do eight, uh, 12 to all enemies. We can do a Pummel on 8 times 4, it's 32, isn't it? So this one can actually just kill this one straight away. So yes, we are still going to take some damage. 
But what an amazing first turn. A mess for flex. We can't get feed out, unfortunately. Or can we? No. No, we can't. Warcry, dual wield, and shrug it off. Shrug it off, I think. Draw a card and block. 73. We're actually doing better now than we were before, so I think I'm going to be okay for doing a mystery, then a relic, then combat, and then we won't be able to get the shop. I want to do a mystery and then get a relic. Yeah, so I'm going to have to do it this way, I think. Yeah. And it is a shop. Second Wind works very well with um, the... What's it called? The Clash? Yeah, Clash means it automatically makes Clash work. Whenever you rest, start the next combat with plus two uh, energy, which is very nice. At the start of your turn, deal three damage to all enemies. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. And leave. And proceed. And now get another one. Doesn't really matter which one we get. Go for this straight up. 23 gold and start of each combat. Gain one dex. Okay, so we know what we need to do with these ones. Double our strength. Dramatic entrance. Pommel strike on you. And... Might as well do a true grit. Get rid of a strike. So that means this one isn't dead, but in two rounds it will be. So I don't need to do anything to this for it to die. Um, and I can just focus on these. Having said that, if that one's going to die, then I might just want to try and nuke a couple of these down. Pommel Strike can draw two cards. So he's now dead. He's now dead. Just need to focus on this one. I can shrug it off so that I don't take any damage. And then I can do this one. And 
and I want Iron Wave at the top. Very nice. So I'm actually thinking about the combat a lot more now than I was. Do Infernal Blade, try and get some decent friendly fire, exhaust your hand, deal 13 damage for each card exhausted. Hey, why not? That's one hell of a nuking card. Didn't take any damage in that fight. Better off than we were. Gain 12 block. Whenever you are attacked this turn, deal 4 damage to the attacker. I think we're doing better now we've got blocks. And I do actually think we may be powerful enough now, but we've got one coming up anyway. After the shop, we'll be able to find out. These guys are horrible. Let's see if we can get the exhaust ability before we use it. So we'll use Pommel Strike on you. No, we don't have it, so we can do that one now. And do nine damage. I won't be able to nuke him. So if I do that and that, kill you off. So you're going to tank up even more. 53. That's a lot. Thunderclap is the obvious one to do first. Um, get shrug it off. So now everything is an attack. 21 damage, or 31 on him, that will kill. But I really want to try and get this feed on him. But I won't be able to. That's a good point. I won't be able to. So I'm actually better off doing that on him. I'm then doing a just a strike, I think, because I'm and I may be able to get something zero cost, which I do, seeing red, which means I can do a shrug it off again and a cleave, almost through the armor. only need to do 25 damage, which we can do not very easily. Let's weaken you. Let's take your armour off. Let's defend and defend. take nine damage that's not too bad and here we can just kill you off 20 gold add a gold card to the hand whenever a card is exhausted draw one card no I don't like that one it means we can use clash less I do however love clash And now we want the shop. We are okay for the, the big boss. Transform your hand and exhaust. 
that's nice. But we're on 72. Only a few things we can get. Gain two strength. That is the obvious one to buy. And that is all of our money gone. Leave and proceed. How are we feeling? Big boss? Or rest? Right, this is the way where we're more likely to win. Yeah, there's no more combat to the boss. And we're going to heal up before the boss anyway, so we can actually start upgrading cards now. This is quite huge actually, we've got two chances to upgrade cards. Um, so, what is limit break? Double your strength, doesn't exhaust, wow, okay. So that becomes exponential. Feed isn't going to count. I think double your strength works perfectly with the synergy we're doing. Let's have a look at this one. You happen upon oh yes, the fire spirits. We have seen this one before. We can basically gain stuff based gain a very very good card based on what what we actually give it so we want to give it a fairly decent card and i think feed is the perfect card to give it because we only have one fight, uh, fight left in this entire run and it's not going to matter about maximum xp so we are going to give you feed maximum hit points increased by 10 and heal to four what more can you say? Now we're going to go for another upgraded card and I think we want to go for something a little bit more tanky. I mean this actually takes it down to 3 HP but really doesn't do that much other than that. Flame Barrier, 16 block. So that's a very nice block. Gain 3 strength from that. Gain 4 strength on this. wonder if you use flex and then double it, whether it keeps the doubling. 5 times on the strength on this one. How are we off for blocking? Not really that much at all. I think that times five one though. Which one was that? The um, heavy blades. Uh, the synergy that I'm going for. This is perfect for that synergy. A very very offensive based maximum hit point soak up a huge amount of damage. I'm going to go into the boss fight now, this final boss fight. Awakened one. So he's going to do 10 damage. You can do 19 damage to everyone straight off the bat. We don't have any hard recycling so 10 on that one 9 on that one um, we'll gain 6 and strike on 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 you might as well because you actually regenerate whenever I play power gain 3 strength have to remember that and heals 10 hit points at the end of its turn so we need to nuke this one this guy down like properly nuke him down uh, we're gonna take a lot of damage unless we start nuking so this is a power he will gain free strength whenever you lose hit points from a card gain one strength 
I've only got one card that actually works with this. So I think we go for... We go for a shrug it off. If I use Rupture, then I can use Clash. So I, ha I have to use Rupture, that is going to increase his uh, damage output, but it means that now I can't even do that. But I can start taking this guy down, or I can make sure one of these dies. I think we make sure one of these dies next turn. Because they're just going to be really annoying, and then we can just focus on the Awakened one. I've got one more, one more damage. Of course I do. So yeah, you die. Uh, means I've got still a fair amount of damage, more than I would have liked coming in. We do have the block available. Now the perfected strike will kill that one straight away. However, then I would have to just block it. I've, I've got quite a lot of damage coming in this turn. That is 27. Which is actually too much for my liking. So I think we kill you off, we drink the block, we forgo heavy blades this turn in order to gain a bit more, that means we only got 9 coming in, some weaken would be good for this guy. This one is pretty perfect. We do Flame Barrier. We do Flex. It's going to do 24 damage. And then end the turn. Let's do Infernal Blade. I weak to him, but I'm, I don't think I want to. Ex I have to exhaust it in order to do clash. So we need to do no, 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 no. I want to double strength first. We do Intimidate. And then, no, we can Clash. Have non attack. Oh, yes. We can Clash. And then we can Headbutt. And we can get Clash back. Or we can get Limit Break back. Yes, 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 yes. Limit break is actually better. So that'll take us up to 12. We can take 3 damage there, that's okay.
No, no, no. Do this one first. Card draw first. We have five energy, so anything which increases strength. No. Nope. Anything which makes us draw. We have one card draw there. We can exhaust a, a, a card rather than playing it. So I think if we do War Cry, We put shrug it off at the top. Just trying to work out the maximum damage I can get out of this this hand. Got four damage. Oh, sorry, four energy. So now that we've done all the card draw, not quite all the card draw, but we know what it is. Any other skills? Yes, there's a defense. I want to use the defense anyway. That's a skill. If I just get rid of a regular strike, we've got two left, which I'm going to do double strength. Gain six block with this one and then nuke with that one. And we're nearly down to half health. We're doing well, we're doing well. I think we have to play Rupture. That is a power, and so is this one. Let's give him vulnerable first. I think because we've just shuffled in. We can afford to do this and that one. Which means now if we do have outmaneuvered then we'll gain uh, strength. We don't have outmaneuvered however we do have two clashes and only one This is going to be a lot of damage incoming. Let's add two vulnerable to him. And then do 48 damage and 48 damage. Which means we should be able to nuke him next round. This should be the last damage I have to take. 45 damage in total. 84. There we go. 126 I'm not keen on this, what's happening? Now he's come back with 200 out what? And he's doing 40 damage. But I can now... I can now do what? I can now do 68 damage to him. I can 
gain lots of strength, I can gain some block. Do I just block up? That is better. I think I have to do that and a um, uh, defend. Don't really want to use him. Oh, I could have used him flame, but no, I think it's better to do that. Unfortunately we don't have any more potions, we've only got that and we've got no status cards in the actual deck itself at all. So let's, we do have double strength again, so let's see if we can get something crazy going. And we're on pen nib. Okay. So, he's only going to do 16 damage as well. Do I need this? Yes, I do. First of all, I do Limit Break. It takes my strength to 28. Deal 64 and apply one Vulnerable. 66 and gain 6 block. So I think we need to do a Thunderclap and then an Iron Wave to gain what small amount of block I can and then another one of those and we should definitely be able to nuke him next round with pretty much anything we have. Like a 33 damage three times? And proceed. What? Do we have to fight again? To thump, to thump, to thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of a spire, the source of this evil? You ready your blade. Attack? Ooh, okay. Deal 646 damage. The heart squirms and bleeds, but is ultimately still pounding. Are you the mighty? Are your mightiest attacks not enough? You ask. You ask yourself, have you uh, been here before? You feel that you have dealt a total of 240. Uh, sorry, 646 damage to the heart. The heart pulses louder and louder as your consciousness fades. And fall asleep. Victory. Question mark. As in, is that a victory? Continue. Yes. Okay, so we have new unlocks, which is very nice. Um, floors climbed. 256, 55 points from that. How many elite bosses do we kill? We only killed one elite boss in that entire run. But I think we did the right thing by not going for them all the time. And let's see what we get to unlock. Relics unlocked. Unlocked relics will show up in future runs. So Shovel can now dig for loot at campfires. Non-boss chests now contain cards. And negate the next two curses you obtain. That's very nice. And proceed. So we have finally beaten the boss. So thank you very much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, comment and subscribe on the video and to the channel. And I will see you tomorrow.
If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me by subscribing to the channel and liking and commenting on the videos. Thanks. See you next time.